According to several reports published on social networks, on October the 13th, 2024, an F-16 fighter jet operated by the Ukrainian Air Force shot down a Russian Su-34 fighter bomber. This victory, Ukraine's first in air-to-air -air combat using the F-16, was achieved with the advanced AIM-9X Sidewinder missile, known for its infrared homing and high maneuverability rights army recognition. The AIM-9X, widely regarded for its lethality, gives the F-16 a significant edge in dogfights able to engage enemy aircraft at high angles and within close-range combat scenarios. The F-16 Fighting Falcon is renowned for its versatile air-to-air -air combat capabilities, combining advanced avionics, radar systems and an array of precision-guided missiles. One of its standout features is the AN-APD-66 radar, which allows it to track multiple targets simultaneously while providing enhanced deten detection range and precision. The F-16 can carry a range of air-to-air -air missiles, including the AIM-120 AMRAM for behind visual range engagements and the AIM-9X Sidewinder for close-range dogfighting. Thanks to its off-bore sight capability, the AIM-9X's ability to lock onto targets from extreme angles makes it particularly lethal in close quarters combat. This mix of radar-guided and infrared-guided weapons enables the F-16 to dominate in both long-range and short-range engagements. Compared to other contemporary fighting aircraft, such as Russia's Su-35 and MiG-31, the F-16 has certain advantages regarding agility and electronic warfare capabilities. While the Su-35 boasts superior long-range radar and missile systems, the F-16 compensates with its superior maneuverability and integrated electronic warfare systems like the Pylon Integrated Dispensing System, which deploys countermeasures to evade radar-guided threats. This agility, coupled with advanced helmet-mounted queuing systems that allow pilots to engage targets by simply looking at them, gives the F-16 a distinct advantage in close combat. The AIM-9X Sidewinder missile is a state-of-the-art air-to-air weapon that has revolutionized modern dogfighting. Its infrared guidance system allows it to detect and lock onto the heat signature of an enemy aircraft, typically from the engines, making it highly effective against fast-moving targets. What sets the AIM-9X apart from previous iterations is its high off-bore sight capability. This means that the pilot doesn't need to be directly facing the enemy to fire. The missile can target and hit aircraft even at high extreme angles relative to the jet's flight path. This off-bore sight capability is paired with a helmet-mounted sight system enabling the pilot to simply look at a target to guide the missile. This feature drastically reduces the reaction time needed in close air engagements, a critical advantage when pilots maneuver at high speeds and in high threat environments. Moreover, the AIM-9X is known for its agility and ability to perform sharp turns, allowing it to stay locked onto highly agile enemy fighters. Rizvan Kurbanov, a Russian state Duma MP from Dagestan, has stated that he was not involved in preparing an assassination attempt on Ramzan Kadyrov and has nothing to do with the Wildberries company. The blood feuds are not declared. Due to business conflicts, caucus experts have commented on Kadyrov's statement. The threat to declare a blood feud against Senator Kerimov and the MPs from Ingushetia and Dagestan is puzzling since it has to do with a business conflict and not with the murder of a relative, users in the Caucasian Telegram channels have pointed out. Recall on October the 9th, Ramzan Kadyrov, while speaking about the conflict around the Wild Berries company, mentioned that Russian Senator Suleiman Kerimov and Lower House State Duma deputies Barakoyev and Rizvan Kurbanov had seized Wildberries and ordered his assassination. I officially declare a blood feud against Bekan Barakoyev, Suleiman Kerimov and Rizvan Kurbanov, Kadyrov said at a meeting with senior officials according to Fortanga's translation from Chechen. The three lawmakers are originally from Dagestan and Ingushetia, two Russian republics that neighbor Chechnya. He called on them to prove their non-involvement in ordering his murder and warned of his readiness to declare a blood feud against them. Russian business outlets characterize the Wildberries Rus merger into the new company RVB as an undercover dispute between Kadyrov and the influential billionaire Senator Kerimov. The merger may also be part of Russia's wartime redistribution of business assets that has benefited business figures linked to the Kremlin.
Wildberries and Rus have secured President Vladimir Putin's approval and say the merger will create a new financial, media and retail behemoth that could rival Western technology giants and boost Russia's economy. Rizvan Kurbanov has stated that he is undergoing treatment abroad. He has noted that he had always respected the Kadyrov family ever since the time when he was friends with the father of the head of Chechnya and highly appreciates Ramzan Kadyrov's activities. After Ramzan Kadyrov's threats of blood feud against Suleiman Kerimov, Sergei Melikov, the head of Dagestan, has recalled the senator's charitable projects and promised that the Republic will always support him in difficult times. These are his assistance to the families of special military operation fighters, the restoration of the Jewish and Orthodox churches in Derbent after they were burned by terrorists, and help to the families of police officers who perished while repelling a terrorist attack. The head of Dagestan has stressed at the opening ceremony of the Suleiman Stalski Park in Makakkala, the reconstruction of which was carried out with Kerimov's support.